Hi everybody and welcome to another episode from Riechstein. Today with just me, Max from Hater in a Ways. Um, and today's focus will be about the Rietkopfbahn ropeway. So we are already seeing this ropeway in, on our screens right now. Uh, this is our brand new intermediate station and it comes with a lot of functionality. I've just been sharing the linking of the two sec no, sorry, the unlinking of the two section to the German speaking people. And now in this English video, we'll focus on linking the two sections back together. In this video right now, all of the captions will be in German, but of course the entire game is also available in English, so make sure to check that out. For the plan now, we will link these two ropeways together, so both sections, so that all of the cabins that arrive here will continue going through this lane here on, onto the top. For that, obviously the first thing we will need to do is we will need to stop the ropeway. So let's just wait for a good time and then let's press the stop button. The perfect timing is when two cabins, so this one and this cabin, meet right after the station. So like, kind of now. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, we do the same thing also for section two again, and then we can already start. Now, uh, I might want to add, this is also available as a regular tutorial in the main menu. So you don't need to watch this video carefully to understand how everything works. We just want to show you the entire ropeway system with all of its, its features today. So again, I'm just waiting for this cabin to leave the station to meet with this one roughly. And now we can stop. All right, so for the linking of the two sections, we will first need to clear out all of the cabins from the terminal area here. Uh, and then we can push them onto this connection track and move them using the electric drives on this track. Let's start with section one. And as a first step, we will need to lift up all of these con uh, conveyors. So all of these tires that keep moving the gondolas around so that we can actually push them using our hands in real life. All right, with that being done, let's just pull this gondola back a little bit because we're going to need a lot of space in here. Yeah, that should be enough, I hope. And then we will just push all of the other gondolas back as well. Now it's crucial that you take roughly the same amount of cabins to each side of the session. So that was three gondolas here. And there are also three gondolas on that side. So that's good. Let's also push it a little bit further and repeat the process for the next two cabins as well. So our goal is that all of the cabins are clear from the switch area, which technically is already the case right now, but the cabin still would collide with this uh, railing at the bottom. So we still need to push all of the cabins further a little bit. Many of you might already know the feature of pushing the cabins around from the maintenance carrier, which we all are always have in the parking section of each ropeway. So it's actually the same feature that we're using now, but just on the main ropeway and not on the parking. Perfect. Now both uh, switch areas are cleared from any cabins and also the terminal conveyor is cleared. So we could actually already move all of the switches. Let's just do that with, oh, that was the wrong one. That's the right one. And the same thing will obviously be done on this side as well. Okay, with that being done, let's continue with section two. So again, we will need to lift up the conveyors in each part of the station. And next we will push the cabins out a little bit so we have enough space for all of them. By the way, for those of you who are not as keen on ropeways 
as our as some of our core community uh, we can recommend all of the videos around the modding contest 2022 which have been live on saturday last weekend uh, and there have been many many amazing mods which you should definitely check out the video itself so the live stream is in german but we will also add subtitles for all english speaking people there Now, this cabin, so that's cabin number 34, will also go to the other side simply for the reason that this track section, the outer side of the curve, is a little bit longer than the one on the inside, uh, which means I need to move all the cabins further even more. All right, let's just do that. Number one. Number two number three and then that's gonna be the last one for this time ah okay now we still need to push that one a little bit like half a meter or something yeah that's enough perfect let's now move all of the switches and the platforms to their um correct position for linked operation of both sections all right and as you can see all of those parts are actually animated so it's really a lot of detail and a lot of effort that it has gone into all of this functionality also this turnout switch um, on the top here is fully animated of course now we've cleared all of the terminal conveyors we've um, swung in all of the switches and next we need to distribute the carriers evenly in both sections so the first thing is we need to ah oh, sorry no the first thing is actually we need to reset the ropeway system which won't work because it's still configured for a separate op operation so first of all we need to get back to the command room and just reset the system as i've mentioned um, as i've mentioned before what you can do is you can always start a tutorial in the main menu of the game find out how this process exactly works so all of these details will be explained to you in this interactive tutorial that is available for you so as a next step i've pushed in the first cabin and now we will move it using the electric drive so i just press a button and the cabin moves and again the goal is to have a kind of evenly distributed spacing between the cabins so let's just try to achieve that at least a little bit anything that is not too too perfect about the spacing won't be too much of an issue but obviously the spacing control then has to do a lot more work and that might cause some issues under circumst uh, under certain circumstances all right i believe that should be enough at least i hope so so in a, in a german video i messed up some part of this here i'll try to do it better this time but we'll see now also on this side we can push in the first cabin then push the next one further a little bit and also the one after that now we can move the conveyor so we just again press a button and the cabin moves entirely without having to move it manually now we will now move it until approximately half the way here and we will push in another cabin from the section one side into the conveyor and then we will just drive back a little bit so the cabins in the connection conveyor are kind of again almost evenly distributed that's backwards now yep. exactly so all of this functionality that we're showing off today will be released on Thursday, December 1, as part of the Re Reach Time DLC, which will be available for around 20 euros, or depending 
on your national currency. But if you're already interested in the DLC, make sure to check out our day one sale. So that might be a special tip for you, in particular if you already know that this might be something for you. And as I'm talking, I've already finished the first half of section one. Let me now continue with the second part. So again, we need to distribute some of the cabins because they really, really need to be distributed. And by the, for that, we again move the conveyor using the electric drive. By the way, the best thing about this um, this intermediate station and all of the functionality linked to it, it's not just made for, for single player, but all of this is also entirely functional in multiplayer. So definitely make sure to check this out in a multiplayer session together with your friends, because mastering this challenge, because operating really is a challenge in the intermediate station, Mastering this challenge is really, really fun in multiplayer. And by the way, a thing that I've also mentioned in the live stream last Saturday about the modding contest, or at least in the community Q&A after that, we've rewritten our entire multiplayer system for better connectivity. So many of you have been facing connection issues in the past, and because of that, we've rewritten almost half of the entire multiplayer just to get better connections for everybody so also make sure to test this out this functionality so the reworked multiplayer is by the way released for everybody and not just for buyers of the Kriegstein dlc so again as i'm talking i've already almost finished uh, section two all of the cabins are at least in some way distributed let me just hit CIS again. And in section one. Okay, we should improve a little bit around this connection conveyor here. So let's just still distribute it a little bit better at least. Like this maybe. Yeah. That works. And again, we can also lower the conveyors and then start driving. But we've, before we start driving, a very important thing, I've talked a lot about the spacing control, which is located here in the, on the outgoing side of the station. Always make sure to reset the entire spacing control system after lifting the conveyors, because otherwise your spacing might get screwed up a little bit. And for resetting, we just manually launch the first cabin so that there won't be any delay. So we first turn the spacing control off and then re-enable it. And next we just start the ropeway. So we're already on linked operation and we can just start right away. By the way, since launching the ropeway is actually also a little bit complicated if you're in the intermediate station, also this part of operating the ropeway is explained very, very well in the tutorial. Let me see whether I had more luck regarding the spacings than the German video. Yeah, looks good. Uh, that works out. And also on this side, it does work out pretty well regarding the spacings. Now, somewhere in this rope control system, I've left the lever in this in the position slow, so I need to look where that has been. I believe it was here at the front. Yeah, so definitely make sure to switch all of them back to normal operation because otherwise your ropeway will go slow the entire time. Now, one more thing that I've shown in the, in the German video was the details of the station itself. So all of the technology and of the part up there that is moving. Again, I'll do it a little bit different than in the German videos. In the German video, I've shown this part of the station 
And for now, I would just continue with this second half of the station. So if you also want to see the other half, then make sure to check out the German video as well. And for that, I'll just switch into fly flight mode right away. And you can see all of the details in here. So you can see all of this, uh, this railing here. You can see this fully dynamic rail. So maybe uh, one more thing that I haven't yet mentioned in the English version, this deflection angle of the intermediate station is fully flexible. So you can choose your own deflection angle for your custom map, starting from a 55 degree bend to the left until a 55 degree bend to the right. So that's a range of more than 100 degrees and that will definitely fit into your personal map as well. Coming back to the station up here, so you can see there's really a lot of detail and also all of these belts and actually all of them being animated. That even increases the quality of the ropeways that we've seen in previous uh, vanilla game ropeways in Venture Resource Simulator even more. And also here, actually one of my favorite parts is the the drive in the section one over there. Let me just jump to it quickly. So here we can say uh, can, we can see the the emergency drive with all of the braking hydraulic system, and that's the main drive. And I just love the detail in this kind of machinery. And to show you also the the counter side to this. That's a tensioning system over here. So we don't have a driving uh, system in this station, but we're keeping the rope in its proper tension. And also this, um, this machine here is very, very deep detailed and a, a almost one-to-one -one recreation of the original. Now with all of these details being shown, I'll just show you the the entire station once again so in this video you've seen that there's really a lot of detail waiting for you in the intermediate station a lot of different scenarios uh, and opportunities what you can play both in single player and in multiplayer um, we're already looking forward to the release on thursday december the first later this week until then Enjoy the time and see you. Bye.